I forgot what the video was on. Half guard. Half guard. Hey guys, Professor Tom, we're gonna to have a look today at not only passing someone's half guard, but using it to set up submission opportunities. We're gonna take the offense on this, guys, and if someone holds one of your legs, we're not only gonna get that leg back, we're gonna make him tap. Let's have a look. Hey, what's up guys? Coach Tom, I'm here with Reese. We're gonna have a look today about how to get our legs out of half guard and how to make them tap. So, Reese has got me in a half guard. Guys, if you're not already doing half guard with your partners, you, you're gonna find yourself here all the time. Okay, one of the most common positions you're gonna find is he's gonna put your knee shield, protect his inside space, and you're gonna be here, okay? So whether you started from here or you started from here, a traditional half guard, Either way, we're going to have to learn how to deal with this position. So let's understand what Reese often wants. He is going to protect his inside space so I can't flatten him out. He's going to get an underhook and now he can start doing lots of cool things. And we have half guard series so that you guys know how to do this from the bottom. So what would I do from the top? Well, first things first, obviously it would be good for me to get my own underhook, put him flat, but this is, these are the kind of skill sets that can take years to develop. What you don't need years to develop is to pin him down with a Kimura. So let's have a look at how we do that. First things first guys, is I don't allow this leg to be free, the lower leg. Watch my left knee come around the corner. Okay, this is really important. Now he can sit up into me with his underhook, but watch what I do. Watch my left hand guys, don't worry about the wrist at this point. Left hand deep, and now I put my hip through the shoulder to put that shoulder on the mat. Okay, like this. Now I can reach back with my right hand and pin his wrist and hold on to my own hand. Guys, don't try to grab onto here, it'll be a stretch. Just hold onto your own hand like this, just pushing it down. Now from this position, don't go for the Kimura yet. Okay, so don't start to do this. Otherwise you're just gonna hold on like crazy and it's hard to finish from here. You can keep it on his ribs. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to either be patient here and wait for him to open his legs to bridge me over. And if he opens his legs, I pull my right leg out into a support position, okay? However, we never rely on that happening. What we rely on is this. Watch, I've got my Kimura here. I can use my elbow to get my knee free. And then, as soon as I'm ready, watch what I do. I'm gonna pull my knee and foot straight up to the ceiling, pointing my toes and I pull my foot out. See, the half guard gets held really well laterally, but it's hard to stop a foot pulling out with pointed toes straight up. Once you're sweaty, gi or no gi and stuff like that, guys, that just slips right out, okay? And then it comes back to our support base. That's then gonna give our, us the power to move his hand down to the ground, and then we can step over his head and achieve our Kimura. So, Let's do that. He's got half guard, I come around the corner, he gets an underhook. I dig my arm in and I put him down on his side and I dig down for the Kimura. I've got both hands on, okay? I'm using the thumb of this one, no thumb on this one. So from this position now, I can use my elbow to clear my knee and now watch my toes. Pull, back and whoa, rip that thing to the mat. Watch my right elbow here, guys. Goes down, okay? Like maybe six, seven years ago, I, my Kimura sucked so bad, and I was trying to do them like this, and then I figured out if I do them like this, with my palm facing up, I used to call them Jarlock Kimuras. Now they're becoming more popular. Different people teach them too. Over the head, and now I'm pulling that elbow back as I push the hands. If I need more leverage, I'll wing out, but sometimes that can hurt your shoulder. So, here. Yeah. All right, let's do this again, real speed. Half guard, come around the corner, dig and flatten. Find the Kimura, push it down. Put all your weight through his ribs. You can use your elbow to get your knee free, and then one, two, three. Hey presto, rip your leg out. Power that to the ground, elbow down. Switch the base over the head and getting our finish. There's many other things we can do from here, guys. Uh, one of the big ones that you can do from here 
is if he sits up for the Kimura and you can get it and put it behind his back straight away, what we can actually do, we just rotate here. What we can actually do from here, if it's, especially if it's submission only, is I can now roll over my right shoulder and now I can finish the Kimura from here. So I'm squeezing and now I can get him on the back. Because it's hard to finish the Kimura from half guard on the top. That's why we pulled our leg out, we extricated it and we passed and did the submission. But from the bottom, we don't have the mat protecting his arm. So although you'd be giving up two points if he got out of this, if you were say an IBJJF, in submission only, you're putting yourself on the bottom because it's gonna give you the highest percent chance to get that Kimura submission, okay? So there you go, we use the Kimura to get control of half guard. We then use the thread of the Kimura to extricate our leg and then we use that leg to put the Kimura behind his back and then we got the finish by controlling the head. So, a little story, but it's a story with a happy ending, well for me at least. And uh, good luck passing that half guard, go for those Kimuras, if you get swept, just try it again. That's what Jiu Jitsu is all about guys, failing, learning, trying again and having fun the whole process. Don't forget guys, you can follow me at Tom Davy BJJ. And don't forget, check out thegrapplingacademy.com. I've got my seminar tour dates. We've got like premium packages and stuff, heaps of free stuff. Check it out, there's so much cool stuff. And if you wanna have a look at our uh, Grappling Academy gear, you can check the Teespring uh, links below this um, so you guys can rep out the Grappling Academy. Thank you so much for your support guys. I hope you love these videos. I love making them for you guys. Happy rolling.